Hi, this is Katie Fehrenbacher with GigaOM TV's Green Overdrive Show, and I'm here with George Blankenship, who's the VP of Worldwide Sales and Ownership Experience for Tesla Motors, and we're here in Tesla's first experiential sales shop, and we're standing in front of the Tesla Roadster Sport, and uh, George is going to tell us a little bit about why Tesla decided to build this completely new design experience. Well, our goal is to intrigue people to come in, to inform them about what it's like to own a Tesla, what it's like to own an electric vehicle, and then to engage them in the process of choosing what their car will be like. So the idea is they're kind of hanging out, doing what they normally do, and then they see the shiny Tesla store and they kind of wander in and get a little glimpse of what you guys are selling. That's exactly right. The whole idea is to be in a place where they, they are naturally any way where they're thinking about new things, thinking about purchasing things, they're in that frame of mind, they're, they're in a casual environment, and they come in and they're relaxed, and they can just spend time here with our technology, learn about our car, uh, speak to one of our product specialists, and they can actually design their own Tesla here. And you previously came from Apple. You designed the Apple store experience, right? I did the real estate. I was part of the team that uh, met every Tuesday morning with Steve Jobs and worked on the design of the store. Um, I did the first 150 locations, 160 locations. So how will this store be a little bit like maybe some of the Apple, the hugely successful Apple experience? You're very kind. <laughs> um, I, I think conceptually this is right down the same lines as an Apple store, meaning it's meant to be inviting. It's meant to intrigue people to come in. Uh, we want to encourage people to learn about our technology, and I see our car as a technology as much as it is a car. And that's what the Apple Store was designed to do. It was meant to take people who weren't thinking about an Apple computer at all and get them informed about it and, and get them to think about purchasing, purchasing it the next time they buy a computer. Well, this is the same thing with us. We have a technology that basically nobody else has. Our technology is so advanced. And we need to explain that to people, do it in a nice, comfortable environment like this, and then they start thinking about it and when it's time to buy a car, they'll think about a Tesla. Just like when they started thinking about a computer, they started thinking about a Mac. Okay. Um, and do you think there'll be key differences between, say, selling laptops and MP3 players versus selling, you know, a $100,000 car? Are there like little things you tweaked in the customer experience? Uh, sure, you can't drive an iPod. Right. Okay, there, there's a different experience when you climb into a Tesla and you go for a test drive. Um, there's a different experience in, in how you how you communicate with 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 a car that goes zero to sixty in three point seven seconds. It's it's a it's a, an experience unlike anything else you've ever experienced in a car. Can you walk us through it? Absolutely. What it what it what's it like with our technology? We want to explain our technology. So we we in this touch screen we can talk about the Roadster. We can talk about Model S. So when we talk about the Roadster, what we want to do is we want to explain to people the important parts of our technology. So we can, we can talk about the battery, okay, because lots of people are interested about the battery, and we can take them into the factory and show them where it's made. The whole idea behind this, this is, this is the motor that's actually in the Tesla Roadster. And what people don't understand is that here's, here's a motor the size of a watermelon that takes that car zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds, and people are amazed. And what we want to do here is we want to actually have them configure their car. This is where it really gets to be fun. So what happens is you choose your car, and now you can go through, and the idea is all of these pieces and parts are at your disposal. So if we want to do a car that's in radiant red, well, the car changes to radiant red. You can look at it in a different... Can I do green? You can do green, absolutely. Oh, wait. Go ahead. It was changing. <laughs> do green. Okay, and let's put some carbon fiber on it. I'll take it. Okay, and then mm -hmm. wheels. Okay. So what happens is you go through the car and you lay it out the way you want it. You want to look at it with, you know, the top on or top off. You choose what leather you want. Do you want the, the black interior? Do you want a, an, ac an accent color? We can put an accent color into it and you end up designing your car. Okay. And so you, you sort of are able to understand what your car is going to look like, and then comes the fun part, okay? What we want to do is we want to take your car out of the studio. And we want to take it into the wild. Ooh, that's cool. Okay? So we take your car onto the 85-inch plasma, but then we got to go another step. We take it outside. We take it to the end of a, wind, a winding road. We want to show you exactly what your car will look like at night. 
okay? And then we want to show you the top, so if, you, if you've chosen carbon fiber, you can see what the carbon fiber looks like. We want you to take another step, okay? This is meant to go through, and let's actually, okay, let's, let's build your car. Okay, let's, let's, let's choose the wheels you chose. Let's, this was the, you know, we got the gray interior. Okay, we've got the trim color. Ooh, All right, you know what there. I like. So here, and now you've taken the next step. All right, and what happens is this becomes your car. Okay? So oh, this, this is the body. This okay. is the body. We've got the wheels. We've got the interior. And what happens is a lot of people say, well, you know, I see what it looks like on the screen. So, so let's, let's take a look at that. Okay, so it looks like that on the screen. But what's it going to look like outside? What does it look like in the sun? You actually feel and touch it, yeah. Let's go outside. You can take it outside, look at it in the sun. And we can, you know, bring it over here. And we, we've, we can save your car. And then we can transfer it to an iPad. Mm -hmm. We can sit down and chat about it. Oh, you can take it with you to go? You can, you, I, you can put it on your iPad, we can share it over here. You'll see, we, you can save it, and once you save it, that's how we can get it to an iPad. Uh -huh. We can put it to your email address, send you the car, right behind the store. We have to test the parking lot. We have cars out there to test drive too. Mm, so nice. when the time comes and you've done this, and you've seen your car, and now you're really into it, and you go, oh, I, I gotta have that car. We'll just take it out and take it for a test drive too. Nice. But this <laughs> is the definition of a Tesla high pressure sales room. We, we don't have a finance manager who comes in and beats you up. <laughs> we do not have the manager who comes in and says, oh, you know, no, I can't, uh, you know, I, I can't take a $1,000 off because that's not part of the transaction. Yeah, there's no sales guy going, close it, close the deal. It doesn't exist. <laughs> this is completely different than every other, the way, the way auto dealerships have been managed for the last 100 years, this is a complete, complete transition away from that. We want you to want the car. We want it to be your car. We want you to decide what's in it. We don't want it to be that the sales manager of a place decides that this car's been out in inventory now on the field for six months and, and, and we've got to sell it today. So sales team, you know, today's the day you got to sell this car. So whoever walks in that door, one of them is going to be sold that car. No, not a Tesla. And I can actually buy the cars here, right? You can buy the cars here. If I could afford one, I could just put down my credit card and go. You did credit card. <laughs> and actually for Model S, you can actually reserve it here. You can reserve it on your iPad at home. You can reserve it on a computer. You can reserve it on any device whatsoever. And what we just experienced on the, uh, on the design studio, you can actually do that on an iPad too. Oh, nice. So you can do it on a Mac. You can do it on a PC. You can do it on an iPad. The Apple's coming back into the equation. <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> All right. Well, that's very cool. Thank you so much for taking us through it.